Hello everyone, uh, today we have something pretty simple. It's a common thing if you ride your bike a lot. This has decayed a bit. And what I mean by a little bit, I mean a little, little too much, right? So uh, we need to replace this bar. Uh, it's like a, I guess it's like a, a grip, is that what you want to call it? I don't know. Uh, and uh, we're gonna replace it with uh, with this. And it's like a foamy alternative. I wanted to try something a little different. And it comes with like end caps. Not really sure how successful we're at using these, but whatever. Because we already have some end caps on there. So. First thing we want to do is try to get this off, right? So to do that, you want to do this. Uh, get this. This is like a bicycle cleaner. Mm, sorry. You use this to inflate, uh, you know, like a uh, basketball, whatever, right? What you what you want to do is kind of like slide it underneath here, and it creates this like. Um, think of it. It turns and it turns the air into a. Um, it increases the air gap between this and the metal, so that little air gap around allows you to kind of like slide it off. So if everything goes well, this should come off pretty easily. And uh, famous last words. So. You know what? I need to put on my glasses. So I want to get this stuff off, at least some of it anyway. Just using a razor blade here.
Maybe we can try some acetone. Tune it is, you don't even need to scrape anything off. Well, maybe you can get the big stuff. Wow, that's yeah, pretty, that's pretty impressive. All right, that's it. Good. Might have to scrape a little. Yeah. Got some big pieces here. So you don't know much about the history of this bike, but I can tell you this. The, um, I got it from uh, someone, a trash picked it, right? Somebody I knew was throwing it out, and I was like, hey, can I get your, your bike? And they were like, yeah. Not really, I just took it, because it's trash. <laughs> what do they care anymore, right? And it was their son's mountain bike, and I was like, man, you know what I want to do? I'm going to take that bike and strip it down, take all the extra stuff off of it and make it a nice light city bike. You know, I got like, I got rid of the mountain tire, mountain bike tires, put some thin ones on. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Really love this project. And uh, I sanded it. It used to be black. Like, you know what? And uh, yeah, so sanded it down to this brush metal. And uh, I did it over like a two year period. I was just like, yeah, I was like, I think I had some serious commitment issues to this project, you know? And uh, it doesn't take that long to do. Also, I didn't really have as many tools as I have now. Now I probably would just knock it out in a weekend, you know? But the point is, is like, I wanted to, um, I wanted to have, I wanted to have this bike done quickly, but it took two years. And you know what happens when you pull something apart and you're not really good at like putting stuff back together just off of memory? We haven't done it a lot. Yeah, exactly. So I had a whole box of parts. I didn't know what the heck to do with any of this stuff. You know, I was like, oh God, this is horrible. And sure, now, fast forward to now, I'd probably be like, okay, whatever, I got it. You know what I mean? It's, you just get better over time, you know? This, is, this bike's like probably like 18, 20 years old. But you just get it better over time, so things, you just kind of pull things apart a lot faster. And also you're able to remember better. My, my memory is like, it's like a squirrel. I swear. I love, that's why I love uh, the video. Videos really help, help you uh, archive what you've done. And if it's going to work well or not. And this is how you should put it back together. So, either way, right? I got the bike, uh, got the bike all, uh, it's clean the razor blade. I got the bike all put back together at the bike shop, and the guy was like so excited. He was like, Oh, this bike is beautiful. I love this brush metal look. And I was like, Oh, well, thank you. That's what I was going for. So let's try to put this on, these, these, uh, these on now. Hmm. What are you thinking? Can we keep that cap? Just gonna slide that on like this. Yeah, let's go to. Tr 
I don't know about that because this. See? That wants to go into here. Like that. Alright, I think we gotta pull. Well, this side's already missing the, uh, the end cap. Yep, that does fit really well. So I think we can just go ahead and slide this on. What do you think? Yeah. And we should probably be able to do it in reverse with the, with the air. Does that make sense? See though, does that fit? Yeah. It's a little, a little long. Oh man, let's talk about that. <laughs> it's a little long. Hmm. I don't want to move this over. I'm so habituated to the distance, you know. Let's put it on and see if I want to, we'll just cut it off. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's cool. So I'm just kind of like go like that. Let that kind of like fill out. Like a boss, bro. This is this is the way to go. All right, so let's get a uh, this one. On. All right. So, but to do that, we had to pop this out, right? Yeah. Okay. So we have a survivor over here. Not life when I do that. It's insane. It was really easy. Maybe that's enough. Well, there you go, folks. That's it. Pretty easy repair. Not much going on there. Hey, listen, I wanted to uh, just take you along on this little quick fix and uh, yeah, show you how easy it is to like maintain just about everything and fix everything your own because everything is pretty much made like crap. It all breaks so easily. Uh, I like to hear about what things you have that you were surprised that broke that should not have broke and uh let me know in the comments below all right hey thanks for uh hanging out and uh i'll see you next video if you like this video good thumbs up share it with your friends hit me up on the facebook instagram it's a little different content but you know whatever you can chat to me there if you need to anyway hope to see you next video and uh thanks for watching let me know if you uh learned something or we could have done something better